Now to developing news out of Northampton, the fourth murder trial for Cara Rintala, who was accused of killing her wife back in 2010, began just this morning. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with a closer look at day one of this dramatic case. Glenn? Yeah, Chris Abbey, this is the fourth time in a decade that Kara Rintala faced a jury over the murder of her then wife, Anna Marie Cochran. Today, the prosecution and defense laid out their cases and the first round of witnesses took the stand as this trial gets underway. On March 29, 2010, 37-year-old Anna Marie Cochran Rintala took her last breath on this earth with the hands of her wife, Kara Lee Rintala, squeezed tightly around her neck. They want you to believe that Kara Rintala is the only one in the whole world who had access to that house and the only one in the whole world who could have done this. The prosecution and defense laying out their case to the jury in the latest murder trial for Kara Rintala, the woman accused of killing her wife, Anna Marie Cochran, back in 2010. The case making national headlines as a series of trials since 2010 have gone without a solid conviction. Even after a jury found Kara Rintala guilty of first degree murder in the case's third trial back in 2016, the Massachusetts Supreme Court overturned the verdict in 2021 after expert witness testimony was deemed improper. Now in 2023, the case continues on its fourth go around with the prosecution calling a series of witnesses to the stand. And what did you see as you descended the basement stairs? I seen uh, Kara was sitting on the floor of the basement obviously crying and very upset, um, holding a female party across her lap. Lieutenant Gary Poehler was one of the first responders at the murder scene, describes what he saw in Rintala's basement, telling the jury he saw Anna Marie dead, beaten and bloodied, covered in wet paint, and Kara Rintala holding her slain wife in her arms. Rintala's defense objecting to certain verbiage regarding the condition of the paint spread across the scene, stating none of the witnesses testifying on Wednesday have the expertise to determine the freshness or pattern of the paint splatter that would speak to Cochran's time of death. You have these lay people who have no expert training, um, who don't have any basis to say whether it's poured, whether it's fresh, um, they haven't identified them as experts, um, whether or not attorney who subjected, I'm telling this court, I would object to any first responder describing um, anything other than that the paint appeared to be wet. Now, coming up at six, we'll speak with a lawyer who tells Western Mass News what makes this case different as it enters its fourth trial in 10 years. Reporting live in the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.